hello again, everybody. This is going to have to be sorted through a little bit, and I'll trim it some more. But anyway, what this is, is cauliflower bites. One of them was a bag in the produce section, and the other one was a whole head. So what I'm going to do is get these blanched and ready to go into the dehydrator. Now, it's my understanding that cauliflower does turn brown um, after it's dehydrated, so I will... Uh, bring you back when it's fully dehydrated and I will rehydrate a couple of bites to uh, demonstrate how it comes back because it said they say it will come back just like fresh cauliflower so we're gonna find that out together right over here I've got a pan of water heating up so I can blanch the cauliflower and I've got a strainer over here that I'll put the cauliflower in when it's through blanching so let me get this going and I'll bring you back for part of it. Okay, I've got some, I've got part of the cauliflower in a pan of water. I already brought it up to a simmer. When I put the cauliflower in, it reduced the temperature, but it'll come right back up. Uh, I'll blanch these, the cauliflower about uh, two to three minutes, somewhere along in there, and uh, then drain it. In this I wanted to also mention that when you cut the cauliflower into bites you want to just make sure that it's not so thick that it holds the trays up I hope I've got it that way if I don't then I can always use my knife and and cut them down a little bit in the bottom on the bottom tray I think I won't use more than three trays for the cauliflower anyway I put a fruit roll up uh, sheet in here mainly because I know some of those pieces after they're dry are going to be really tiny and they'll fall through the holes on these trays so I want something to catch them and keep them out of the bottom so that's what I put in there for that as you can see now it's boiling and believe me it smells like I'm cooking cauliflower in here anybody that's cooked any kind of uh, cabbage family stuff knows what that smells like anyhow these lack about two more minutes and then I will drain them and rinse them in cold water and uh, get I'm gonna get the other ones in there while I do that and then I'll be ready to put them on the dehydrator trays okay there's my first tray of cauliflower going in Still see some. This stuff didn't show up until I started boiling it, so I don't know if that's normal or what. It probably is. Anyhow, there's my first tray about to go in. Well, it did. It's on the dehydrator, and I'm getting my second batch. There's still some left in the in the bowl. Anyway, getting my second batch boiled and blanched and ready to go in. Okay, I have discovered something. It's always good to learn something new every day. That on this one, if the food goes past this ring, the next tray won't sit in well. So I had to really cut these down a lot uh, thinner. It's still probably a half an inch. So that will work out just fine. Get the lid on here. Everything is seated in good. Okay, and now I've got it plugged in and on. The uh, instructions say it will take four to seven hours, so sometime tonight I will check on these, make sure they're good and dry, and then I'll try to rehydrate a couple of pieces and see how that goes. So there you are for now. I'll bring you back later when I'm done with them. Okay, here's the results of dehydrating uh, cauliflower. Now, if you remember the earlier that I showed, they were big. This was These were full. I'm letting them cool a little bit. 
Look how tiny. That's that was a head of cauliflower in one of those bags of cauliflower bites. Here they are. This is some of the bigger cauliflower. You can see it turned kind of brown. So I've got some water that I'm heating up in the microwave. So we're gonna find out how it re rehydrates. All right, there's my hot water. I'm just going to put this, put these in here. Should have got a spoon out, kind of stir them a little bit. But let's see what happens. And what I will do is just start taking pictures uh, as they go, as they go along. Okay, refresh our memories. This is what they look like before I put them in the bowl of hot water. Very dry, hard, and pretty dark brown. And here they are, pretty much fully rehydrated. So let me get one out. See, it's soft. tear it apart with my fingers and these feel like cauliflower but not raw cauliflower they feel like cooked cauliflower now they could probably go a little longer I just want to show you that they're not they're not hard now they did retain some of the brown color from dehydrating I did this every, I took pictures every 30 seconds for just a few minutes to see how quickly they would come back. And they came back pretty quickly, as you can tell by the number of photographs. So there you go. There's the dehydrated ones out of the dehydrator. They're getting cooled down. They're all getting cooled down, uh, getting ready to put them in bags, in a, in a bag. It'll only take one bag. But there are the rehydrated ones. So. It's something to think about. Something worth trying. If you want to try it. Uh, and these would, this would be good. You know. In a soup or casserole. Or. Uh, maybe after the rehydrated. Grind them a little bit. Make some of the cauliflower rice. Or something like that. You know. Whatever you like to do with cauliflower. But this would be a, a way for me to preserve it without canning. Because the only way you can can cauliflower is to pickle it. So it's a high acid canning. And this is a way for me to get a different use out of cauliflower. Not let it go to waste. And uh, cook it up later. Alright, so there you go. Let me know what you think, and if you tried dehydrating cauliflower before, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.